We're um, up on the overlook on the nature trail here at Pine Island Sanctuary, and we're at our southmost overlook uh, looking over this cove. Uh, it's a windy day, so the uh, tundra swan and the Canada geese and the ducks have come into this protected cove to be protected both from the wind and the waves that are, that are uh, kicked up by that wind. You're looking all the way across uh, Currituck Sound and the Pine Island Marshes toward the mainland. Uh, Currituck Sound's about three miles wide at this point. Uh, it's also about three feet deep, so it varies from about a foot to six feet, but averages out at about three feet deep all the way across the three mile extent of the sound. Looking across at the lights uh, on the mainland, that's the town of Grandy. And uh, to our uh, left here, down to the south, is uh, the shoreline of the village of Duck. Uh, along that shoreline is where actually the, the swan usually spread out during the day in those shallows all along that shoreline to feed. Uh, they're just uh, closed in here for the day because of the wind. But they do come up into these marshes every night to rest, to sleep, uh, and you can hear them all night long talking to each other and singing out in the marshes. So it's, a, it's an auditory experience as well as a vis visual experience here. Uh, across from the sound, through the small piece of maritime forest here, uh, you see some beach houses, and those beach houses are right up on the ocean, so the island ex is extremely narrow here. Uh, this area uh, was actually an area once dominated by inlets, so uh, we have a very narrow piece of the island uh, separating the ocean from the sound, and uh, big storm events would come in to these narrow areas and push through actually from the sound side to create uh, inlets in this area. The birds that you see out in the sound uh, today, tundra swan, who overwinter here and uh, fly north to the Alaskan uh, and Canadian tundra for uh, nesting during the summer. And what they're doing currently here is um, stocking up on food for that long migration north. Also, you see a number of Canada geese. This is actually a special population of Canada geese that nest very far to the north in Newfoundland and as far north as Iceland as well. So uh, that, that's kind of a neat group of Canada geese. And the ducks that you see, all the smaller uh, black spots, are black ducks and a mixture of bufflehead ducks, uh, which are very small little uh, uh, diving ducks that you find out here on the south.